And then it's a complex, easy for me, a true oxymoron. I don't like it here, yeah, I keep coming back. The accent goes through me, yet I am involved in every conversation. So I just finished organising the room. I really hate a messy hotel room, so I just put my clothes up. Obviously that's already been like that. Got these over here. Put out the extra pillows, because I love extra pillows. Put my pajamas, put my pajamas over there. And I'm just going to sit over here and do some meditation. Yeah, so I'm going to just sit here, do some extra meditation still myself and then conquer the day i also did the bathroom as well because yes i am that extra um <laughs> so i organize everything that i'm using as well um and it comes with a bath so i'm definitely going to take a lovely bath and paint my nails and everything but yeah i'm just gonna take some time to relax to reflect and to remember why i came here like last night was so so busy because of everything that happened all the changes and everything someone was like yeah get your money back so i'm definitely going to be good doing that but she was like get your money back and just take the train from london to from manchester to birmingham birmingham to um london Euston. And the drive from london Euston to this hotel is so far <laughs> it was like a half an hour drive and you know the london prices are expensive but it was worth it i mean my hotel is beautiful i have such a, an amazing view um and i give thanks and now there's a bird flying past and i'm on like a high floor as well so like the birds are just like right there flying past it's so cute but yeah um i want to have an amazing day today i'm just gonna sit sit here on this lovely day bed i'm gonna sit here on this lovely day bed do some meditation take some time for myself and really reflect on my intention for this week my intention for this week is to align with the energy of Jupiter conjunct Neptune in Pisces it's the first time that it's happening in 166 years and although that although I don't normally keep up with um astrology this has actually come into my reality really really strongly and I just want to take this time to expand and really be one and within myself like and, and have that as a focus again I'm going to explain that so much later on so it makes sense for everyone to consume and digest and see using their own realities but um yeah I'm here I'm having fun and I'm about to meditate even though I change, I'm a future. Was you supposed to change? Even though I change, does it mean you change? You ain't never gonna change. Ever, ever gonna change. So many things are changing I'm in a world that's breaking my heart No longer feel the same things So if I fall just save me from So I tried to go up there to the sky garden. We've got like this indoor um, garden right at the top section there. But it's fully booked for the next two weeks and I didn't book any tickets in advance, which is so something. But to be fair, I love the view of this, uh, like how well designed this little garden is. And the weather's holding up really, really nicely as well. So I'm gonna just enjoy the view, take some time to journal and then continue. Um, I've actually always admired this building because I, stu I studied it whilst I was studying architecture. Okay, so why even come to London? And obviously I hope you guys can actually hear me, but 
the reason why I'm in London is because I just want to be here, like, um, I'm going to be attending a house ceremony on Thursday, so I thought I'd just want to come for the week. <laughs> So I know that you guys can't see the chopper, but there's like a chopper like hovering right here, killing all the vibes. <laughs> Literally, up here was really peaceful a moment ago, but I don't mind it though. It's typical London, like you've just got to go with the flow. Day one of London has been really, really intense, and yeah, like it's been like every minute has counted, but at the same time, time has just flown by. Like it's just weird. Like the moments where I've just been really present in my breath, like the moments have just been, you know, present. <laughs> and then when I've let time fly, but it fly, and it feels like the day is just gone. But at the same time, I've spent every minute really wisely. Um, I've ended up in places that I, want, I really needed to be, like for example, um, just a quick little example, like earlier today I was going to get some chips, well no, just before I came back to the hotel I was going to get some chips, um, but then I got the bus to the wrong stop and ended up right in front of the vegan restaurant that I actually wanted to go to um, called Something of Eden. A vegan of Eden, Something of Eden, but yeah, and they have one, they have one, um, in another in Brixton as well, like it's really really good Caribbean Jamaican food basically, um, but vegan Jamaican food is really really good. And I was like, I want to go there, but I didn't know how to get there. And then I ended up literally like the stop was right outside the shop. It was so crazy. <laughs> but yeah, so you always end up where you need to be. Like the day has been full of messages and full of little insights, and I feel like these are the moments that just make life. You know, you, have, like, you really have to learn from every little thing. Um, so I'm just going to read some things. So, London is a complex, easy for me. A true oxymoron. I don't like it here. Yeah, I keep coming back. The accent goes through me. Yeah, I am involved in every conversation. I complain about the people. Yeah, this is, this is a city where most of my friends have originated. And they're the people that I always attract. You know when you can't read your own handwriting? <laughs> I realised that I came here to feel familiar, to feel connected to the safety of my past, to live in the lie of nostalgia. I wish I realised this before I spent all this money and time travelling. I really could have just... <laughs> I really could have just watched a documentary about London and had an exciting and less expensive weekend snowboarding, snowboarding in Scotland how I really wanted to for my birthday I live and I will learn um, 
This time around, I've come to London not to seek safety because I am safe and I am all that I seek. I came to give myself the chance to just play here, to feel what comes up and to release it. To see the many faces and to just flow with the day. I am thankful. But yeah. Mm. So today, whilst in London, I realised like the reason why I keep coming back to this city is because it represents a very safe time and very safe moments for me. Like very innocent moments where I was just tra travel. Um, I was here when I was like 19 mostly. Like I spent a lot of time in London when I was 19. Um, and 19 and 17 so like really really safe times for me where I just needed to be somewhere away from home somewhere where I could like just be in a different space and still be received and I really achieved that in London like through the friendships and um, moments that I shared with myself London is a city that taught me that it's more than okay to be alone and enjoy that aloneness especially because of the many activities that actually do go on here like there's so many opportunities for self dates and um making friends on the streets and you like do you know what i mean so london kind of holds that for me but then as i've been here i've been thinking about like oh you know what i wish i said i wish i spent this money on going to barcelona or going to scotland snowboarding like do you know what i mean and i hardly ever do that when i travel like when i travel i like to be completely present with the traveling experience and I realised the reason why I'm thinking this is because I don't actually want to be here. It's because I want to live in the lie of nostalgia. Like I said in the book, I want to live in the lie of nostalgia and try and connect myself to my past where I felt safe before. And then to connect to my past. Um, I need to remind myself that one, I am definitely safe within myself. I am my own safety. I ensure myself my safety. And two, um, if I want to try time travel, I have meditation, I have my own being, I, you know what I mean, I am a time traveller within myself, I have that ability within my consciousness, I not even have it, I am that ability, you know what I mean, and because I've not given myself opportunity to, to practice that um, within myself, I sought it externally, which is just something to reflect on, like as I was just crying before, just realising just how much, um, what I'm saying means to me, like these words I'm sharing with you guys, like how much this means to me because I can finally let go of just a time period and um, I can finally let go of just <laughs> little bits of myself and I can just literally just be in London and play and not, I don't know, not seek, not be wondering but just be an embodiment of wonder instead and um, so I'm just so excited to wake up tomorrow and play and just take on the week and then return back to where I'm supposed to be and start again honestly but sometimes as well like and this is advice for anyone who needs to hear it but sometimes as well you need to just fall off sometimes like you know I said to myself oh yeah I wish I didn't spend the money coming here like I could have realized this time ago but I'm glad that I did come here and I'm glad that this has happened because in me being here falling falling off I recognize how to get back on you know and sometimes we need that so yeah good night everyone and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching to the end and i hope you're enjoying these london vlogs bye